And we're back on Travel Michigan. I'm George Zimmerman, along with Michelle Banash. And Michelle, as we mentioned before the break, uh, certainly one of our favorite topics. Definitely one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get carried away. But <laughs> it's Michigan Wine and Wineries. And so our next guest, obviously, is associated with that industry. Yeah, we're talking with Gordon Wenk, who's the chairman of the Michigan Grape and Wine Industry Council. And Gordon, April is Michigan Wine Month. Uh, that's exciting. Tell us about that. It is, and we are very excited that uh, April uh, has once again been declared as Wine Month in uh, Michigan by uh, Governor Snyder. It is uh, an excellent opportunity for folks to uh, get acquainted again or reacquainted with Michigan wines or continue their acquaintance with Michigan wines. It uh, is a uh, starts opening the uh, of the wine season uh, in Michigan. It is uh, just a, a wonderful opportunity to highlight uh, what's going on with uh, with Michigan wines in uh, in Michigan. Uh, as you may know, we've got about 92 wineries, uh, Michigan wineries in the state of Michigan uh, that use Michigan uh, grown grapes or other fruit as part of their wine making. Uh, uh, in in the states, about seven hundred ninety uh, million dollar economic impact uh, for this uh, for the state of Michigan. So, it's uh, a wonderful uh, time for us to highlight uh, all of that activity going on in, in the state. Well, you know, Gordon, you mentioned ninety two wineries. I mean, that's the the growth in that over the last you know ten years has just been phenomenal. And and. I know that you know the winery business and uh, is popular around the country. Many, 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 most states have some some wine industry, but it seems that we this is an area where Michigan really excels. It, uh, you're exactly right, George. Not only are we excelling in in terms of the number of wineries, but we're also excelling in terms of quality. Right. Uh, the quality of Michigan wines is is uh, being recognized. Uh, in this state and across the nation, as as many of our wines are entered into competitions and do very well, and winning uh, awards uh, for their quality, uh, and it is uh, it's just gratifying to know that here in Michigan, uh, with our microclimate, with our Great Lakes, with our uh, wonderful uh, scenery, we have also this uh, this opportunity to produce some uh, world class uh, uh, wines. And, and I just may mention uh, real quick that we we just have uh, approved uh, some newer wineries uh, in the state of Michigan. So as folks are thinking about places that they may want to travel to uh, this this spring, uh, there's Harbor Spring uh, Springs Winery. It's up on uh, scenic Route 119 up in Harbor Spring. Yep. Uh, Viterra Winery. Uh, it's in the heart of uh, uh, Leelanau County. Uh, we've got Gravity Winery. Is uh, uh, in the traditional grape growing region down in southwest Michigan near Baroda, and uh, Bring- Bringman Brothers Winery, uh, which is uh, on site vineyards in, in the Leelanau Peninsula. And, and also, I'd mentioned Modern Craft Winery that's over in Augrave. Uh, we're getting, it's great to see things happening on the east side of the state, right along uh, uh, Lake Huron there. So, those are some new wineries that are, that are, will be new to are traveling around so they can visit some of their old favorites but at the same time uh, take a look at some of these uh, new opportunities out there well and you know the thing that uh, obviously in the business we're in promoting the state of michigan for tourism and and the pure michigan campaign um obviously the other thing that's happened is as the, the both as you say both the number of wineries and the quality of wine being produced at them has increased then wine tourism culinary tourism just jumps with it and you know, what used to be strictly kind of a Napa, California thing now, obviously, is taking place here in a, in a fairly significant way. It, you're exactly right, George. And we love that combination between tourism, uh, the food experience in Michigan with many of the great products that we grow here, and Michigan wines. It all comes together uh, and provides an, a perfect uh, way for people to travel around the state and, and visit from, visit wineries, enjoy good food, View beautiful scenery. It is a it's a great Michigan experience. Uh, and and one nice thing about uh, April is if folks get out and actually go to wineries in April, um, many times the wineries are now uh, giving out their new releases. So these will be a chance for folks to sample some of the wines that are going to be coming out this season. Uh, the tasting rooms are less busy. Uh, you know, as the right. season picks up, we get more folks in there. 
Uh, it's a great time for them to have an opportunity to really have a conversation with the winemaker, uh, with the owners of the wineries. Uh, there's some uh, very great, uh, excellent folks out there in the in the winemaking, wine growing uh, uh, business in the state of Michigan. Well, I think that you know that part of the experience, the the actual having to, you know the ability to spend time, whether it's in a tasting room or or in the vineyard or wherever, uh, with the owner, with the uh, with the winemakers, um, that that's that's a big part of the experience. It's more it's more than just you know sampling the product. It, 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 that's uh, that is exactly correct. And, and what I might say is there's lots of special events that are going on with uh, with Wine Month and and throughout the season. Uh, if folks want to visit, visit uh, michiganwines.com. Uh, that's one word, michiganwines.com. And look at the event, events page. They'll be able to get an uh, idea of all the different things that they may want to take advantage of. Uh, we've got cooking classes, uh, winemakers' dinners, uh, so, uh, and excursions, are all part of, the, of the, those special events. And I, and I may mention for your listeners, especially down in the Detroit area, that one of the highlights of uh, the April Wine Month uh, is the Michigan Wine Showcase. It's going to be held on the evening of April 30th at the Rattlesnake Club in Detroit. Uh, and uh, if folks want to get tickets to that or more information about it, again, they can visit uh, MichiganWines.com. Yeah, the the other uh, you know in talking about cul- you know culinary and and wine tourism, the other thing obviously that uh, your many of your members are now involved with is doing these wine trails where they work together, which is great to see. I mean, we're so you know, th- and we see this in other segments of the tourism industry too, where you don't view uh, you know your com- your your neighbor as necessarily a competitor, but actually somebody you can work and market with. Um, because when visitors go to whether it's you know northwest Michigan or southwest or southeast and you know want to do the wine experience, well, often they want to go to more than one of the wineries, and so why wouldn't they work together and put together a trail like that? It, it's, a, it, it's a it's a great it, it's a great thing to see that the wineries are coming together to, to do those kind of activities. I think with our growth in the wine industry, we now sort of, we have this critical mass of wineries out there where you can put together. Uh, within a short distance uh, a wine trail that gets you to a number of different wineries all within one day. Uh, many of those can be can be packaged with uh, other stops along the way, whether whether there's restaurants or or other culinary experiences. And it is a great way for folks to get out, uh, enjoy some great Michigan products, Michigan wine, and see part of the. Beautiful Michigan countryside, and I think too for the you know as we're seeing more and more um, visitors from not just from out of state but from more distant markets from the south, from the west, from the east. Um, you know, I think this is a this is an aspect of what we have to offer visitors that, frankly, many of them probably didn't know much about. Um, you know, again, everybody's heard about Napa that's been around for for decades and, and kind of what's happening there. And I'm, I'm not deriding it; I'm just, but it's well known. And but I think that for you know for folks to come here and, and see not just the wineries and and the wine product, but also the the abundance of fresh uh, fro- uh, produce and vegetables that that are that are grown here, and you you know like you said you pair those together into a culinary experience and you've really got something special. As, as we've as we've often touted in the state of Michigan, we are the second most diverse uh, uh, growing region in the country, only to California in terms of the number of commodities that are produced here, and uh, with the, the growing numbers of farmers markets and and other opportunities for folks to take advantage of uh, Michigan products. It is a great state to visit, whether you are from Michigan or whether you are from outside of Michigan. It's a great place to come and take a look at uh, all of the bounty that we have to offer, enjoy some great Michigan wines, some good food, and uh, have a wonderful have a wonderful experience. Uh, we've, uh, in tracking our visitors uh, to the wineries, uh, we are... We're approaching a million folks coming to Michigan wineries uh, and tasting rooms uh, well, on wow. an annual basis. That's and great. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it ties perfectly in with pure Michigan and, and everything that we have uh, to offer here in this state. Absolutely. Well, that's Gordon Wink, the chair of the Michigan Grape and Wine Industry Council. We thank you for being here on Travel Michigan today. Uh, and again, michiganwines.com is the website. And this is Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.